Student risk is always exist in the market. Whether you are investing in a uh, gold market, you are investing in an uh, exchange market, uh, you are buying cotton, you are taking property, uh, you are making investment in particular stock. Unless and until uh, you are investing in a uh, security which is giving you a committed and a fixed rate uh, for a foreseeable future. So there are fundamental factors that might impact on your investment plan. When company is making investment in any project, it is also possible that the firm will also consider the risk involved over there. So in this lecture, I'll give you introduction of uh, fundamental risk concepts uh, that might happen in a particular society, in any particular economy or in any particular region. So fundamental risk that might be faced by any analyst or portfolio manager or that might be considered by um, any analyst uh, may be divided into various categories, but few of them are important and you must uh, keep in mind at the starting point because whatever work you will do, irrespective of in which sector you are working, whatever sector you are working, whatever industry you are selecting or in whichever economy you are working, there are some fundamental risks that always present. And you need to consider it uh, at the time of making investment or at the time of making any portfolio plan. The first one is called business risk. You have uh, studied it at various subjects and um, might be quite familiar with this term. Business risk means any risk which is associated with a specific uh, company, like its sale may be volatile, uh, the, the raw material uh, prices might change that might impact on its cost. Sometime operating expenses might change and it may go on a higher side or in some industry, the government tax regulations might uh, change its tax policy that might impact on its uh, final earning. So these are uh, the risks that might be associated with one industry or one specific company. And this is not necessary that it is affecting on all the economy and all the sectors of uh, any economy. So these kind of risk may be taken as a business risk. On the other hand, student, when we say financial risk, it means that we are specifically talking about uh, the uh, leverage issue uh, when company is uh, arranging fund, not only from the owner's equity, but it is also uh, taking fund from any financial institution. And in common terms, we call it debt. So if you are taking any short term and long term debt and incorporating into your financial decision, it means not only you are bearing the business risk, you are also facing financial risk. Financial risk in that sense that uh, on debt, you are committed to pay a certain amount of uh, interest charges, irrespective of your business as is able to generate that uh, revenue or not. So this is important to understand that business can run, whether you are borrowing or you are uh, making investment your own. So it's up to you to decide whether you are willing to take this uh, financial risk in the form of debt or not. The other is that might be faced by any analyst or any portfolio manager, liquidity risk, it means that uh, the sector or the uh, place where you are making investment, uh, what is your opinion? Do you think that the investment that you are making, will you be able to uh, liquidate this amount as soon as you wish or uh, your amount will be stuck for a certain number of years or for a certain uh, time duration? So this is important before making the uh, decision uh, that the amount will be recoverable as and whenever you like it or not. You can take an example that suppose I need an amount after three months and right now I have 10 million. So this is not necessary that I am making investment uh, for one year. I know that this amount will, uh, will be required by me in three years, uh, three months. It means that I will make a short term investment and that investment should be secure from this point of view that I shouldn't suffer any loss in that one. So that's why we have a different market, uh, short term market as well as long term market where we can make uh, various investment plan. Exchange rate risk, you are out quite familiar uh, that in different economies, the exchange rate vary. And these exchange rates uh, play very important role uh, when you are making any commitment uh, for the future. Whether you are uh, importing goods from that country or you are exporting uh, goods from your country to 
other country. In both the cases, exchange rate risk might play a very important role. Country risk is related to a specific region or any country that is facing any kind of political or economic turmoil. In case you are not familiar that this country uh, uh, may face this uh, kind of situation and you are planning to make investment in that particular area, so it might impact on the uh, return you are expecting from that country. So being a portfolio manager, if you are working in any specific region, if you are working in a specific uh, continent, you should be very careful that each and every economy will have different dynamics. Their economic situation are different, their political situation are different, their industrial situation, their innovation, their competitiveness are different. So when you are making investment in any particular region or in any particular country, you should be well aware that what kind of country you are investing and what, what are the competitiveness and uh, 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 growth position of that particular country because that might impact on the uh, investment plan you have in your mind.